Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about adding, subtracting radical expressions. So if I had to simplify this problem, three square root of three minus the square root of twenty-seven. Okay. Well, what I want to do is I've had both of these have the square root of three in them because the square root of three is there, but the square root of twenty-seven is not. So I can break down twenty-seven to be nine times three. So I have three square root of three minus the square root of nine times three here. Okay. Since I have it as 9 times 3, I can break that apart to be two different square roots there. Okay, so we have 3 square root of 3 minus square root of 9 times the square root of 3. We're allowed to do that with multiplication. Just make sure both parts here have a square root. Square root of 9 is easy. That's just 3. So we have 3 square root of 3 minus 3 times the square root of 3. And so now we look at this and say, okay, uh, since we have the same square root, square root of 3, we look at the number out front and we subtract them. Right. 3 minus a 3 is just a 0, and we bring down the square root of 3, so we have 0 times the square root of 3. Well, what's 0 times anything? Just 0. So our final answer here is just 0. So let's recap. We're given negative 3, I'm sorry, 3 times the square root of 3 minus a square root of 27. Well, 27 breaks down to be 9 times 3, and then square root of 9 times 3, we can break apart to be two different square roots, and square root of 9 times the square root of 3. Simplify the square root of 9 to be 3. We now have 3 squared 3 minus 3 squared 3. Two square roots that were the same. That was our goal. We look to the numbers out front. We subtract them. 3 minus 3 is just a 0. We bring down square root 3. But now here's the issue. 0 times anything is just 0. So that gives us our final answer here of just 3.